Ed, Saturday morning's number one news from WBAL TV 11. Live, local, late breaking. This is 11 News Saturday Morning. Well, do you find yourself forgetting things often? A certain degree of memory loss is normal, but sometimes it can be an indication of a more serious condition. Alzheimer's, some in the medical community say there is a way to protect your brain against memory loss and Alzheimer's. And joining us to talk about that in his new book, The Memory Cure, is Dr. Majid Fatuhi. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much for having me Good here. morning. Good morning. Um, there's the book we're looking at it there, The Memory Cure. Let me ask you this. A lot of people forget things. I mean, I do it every day. Is that any indication that perhaps you could have Alzheimer's down the road? I think a good way to tell a difference uh, is to distinguish memory loss versus memory lapses. People who have day-to-day uh, -day memory problems, they have memory lapses. They forget something now, mm -hmm. but they didn't remember it two hours later when they're taking a shower or driving. People who have serious memory problems, they forget and they don't remember. You ask them, what was the name of the movie we saw last weekend? Mm -hmm. And they say, what movie? We saw a movie? That oh, is okay. more concerning. Also, uh, people with serious memory problems have other things. They get lost in their own neighborhood. They can't quite do the things they used to do. I have a list of 12 questions in my book, mm -hmm. which sort of helps people distinguish it more like you should be able to draw a clock and other things as well. Gotcha. OK. All right. Now, if you're a, fa a family member has Alzheimer's, say your mother, your father, are the chances greater that you'll have those? Well, I think um, the chances are greater, but but not that much more. Okay. You know, if, if your risk is 1%, it may be 2% by the time you're 70 or 80 years old. It really doesn't justify you worrying about it. Okay. There is a 10-step protection plan that you have for folks who are worried about this. Mm -hmm. If we could go to that graphic again, and we'll talk about that. First, take control of your blood pressure. What does that have to do with it? I think that's the crown jewel of prevention. A lot of studies have shown that people with higher blood pressure are at higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. This is a new discovery that uh, has come during the past couple of years. Hmm. Okay, what else? What's our next pointer? Lower your cholesterol. Yes. This was one of the uh, most exciting discoveries uh, in the past couple of years as well. People who take cholester uh, cholesterol lowering medications cut their risk of developing Alzheimer's and memory loss by half. Hmm. And that's very exciting and promising. So if you have high cholesterol, you should really take, take control of it. Okay, what's our third pointer? Check your B12 and homocysteine level. What's yes. that mean? Yes. You need B12 for normal day-to-day -day function of the brain. And homocysteine is something that your body needs, but when it's high, it causes problems such as stroke or Alzheimer's disease. I explain exactly where hom homocysteine comes from. It's like cholesterol. Okay. Too much of it is not good for you. Okay, eat a diet rich in fruits and veggies. That seems like pretty common basic knowledge there. Yes, that's, again, you know, a lot of these things are things that your grandmother would tell you, but mm -hmm. now scientifically proven that people who um, eat more vegetables and have a better diet have a lower risk of developing memory loss with aging. And protect your brain from injury? Yes. If you had a serious head trauma, mm -hmm. let's say when you are 25 years old and you have loss of consciousness for an hour, 40 years later, you're at higher risk of developing Alzheimer's right. or memory loss. Okay. Check your eyes and ears. Yes. Why is that? I think this is a problem with uh, people who have a little bit of uh, vision problem, a little bit of he hearing problem, and the combination of those prevents them from absorbing the information. Mm -hmm. If you can't absorb it, no, you know, it's not surprising you can't remember it. Okay. Let's fly through these last couple because we're running out of time. Exercise. Of course, that's a given, too. Well, you know, it's really exciting to know that if you exercise, you actually increase the amount of uh, growth factors in your brain mm. that makes your brain work better. And the last few are jog your brain, use it or lose it, socialize, and beware of depression and stress. Yes. What does depression have to do I with I think it? most people who complain about memory problem, in mm. fact, are a little bit depressed. Mm. You know, they say, oh, I'm a little too fat, my memory is not working well, and so on. So I think if you want to improve your memory, you should really take care of depression and that means you can socialize more and if you have serious depression you should see, you should see your doctor and get me take medications. Again the book is called The Memory Cure and you can get this anywhere? Yes anywhere. Very good thank you very much. My pleasure. And we'll be right back.